You can create free and unlimited consistent characters with Flux or Stable Diffusion. You don't need a subscription and you don't need your own GPU. Instead, you can just go to huggingspaces.co and search for Pulid for Flux. I also put the link in the description, but it gives you an interface, a radio interface where you can upload your image or you can go to a site with free stock and royalty free images, download an image of a person from there and upload it here. So here we'll upload our image of a woman in this area labeled ID image to serve as our reference image for our generated image. And in this prompt section, we'll use a woman with the same hair length sitting in a coffee shop with a drink and her laptop. And then we'll scroll down, click on generate. We can see the Gradio app working with the progress bar. And that <laughs> looks incredible. You'll notice that the image we uploaded for the ID image to serve as our reference image has an aspect ratio of 16 by nine, while the generated image has a portrait orientation. You can adjust the dimensions down here with these sliders or in this text field with the width and the height. If you want to find some aspect ratios or dimensions that suit certain use cases, you can go to pixels dot com search for an image go to filters click on orientations and you can choose whatever you want for vertical we'll choose one of these images and in the pop-up modal there will be a drop down for free download so click on the drop down and you'll see different dimensions we can choose small but just note the dimensions so 640 by 960 and we can go back to our Gradio app in Hugging Face and then type in 640 and 960. Let's try another prompt with the same image and see if the AI generator can maintain the character consistency. Okay, the character consistency for this looks very good. But how can we tell it's AI generated? The fingers. You probably know by now, AI has had trouble generating images of humans, especially when it comes to fingers and toes. Her right hand looks like it has six fingers with a thumb behind the cup, and the pinky on her left hand is kind of short. Otherwise, the outfit looks very good. The blurred background image looks pretty good. You could probably crop this to use it if you want. If you want to edit the image there's this parameter called time step to start inserting id for photorealistic images it recommends using four for stylized scenes if you want to add artistic styles to the images it recommends using zero to one the images that you upload the ai must be able to discern the facial features so you can't upload an image where the character is wearing a mask or a helmet that covers the face. Images like these produce error messages and it doesn't do animal faces either. It even has trouble with this image where you can see half of the face and it seems like the eyes are one of the major factors for this AI model. There's another hugging face space that allows you to generate multiple images from a single reference image, but you can still add more reference images. So we're going to go ahead and add our single reference image. And for the prompt, we'll use woman sitting at a table in a restaurant or cafe. We'll go ahead and generate, let the AI work. In the meantime, we'll cover some of the other settings you can configure, including a negative prompt where you can exclude features or characteristics you don't want in the images that are generated. You can see the dimension settings here. You can 
upload two characters and merge them into one. But let's take a look at our images. So you can click on these images for a better look. This one kind of looks like her, but you can tell it just has this look that it's AI generated. This one, I feel like is further away from the source image. There's some issues with the eyes there. This one doesn't really look like her at all and looks very much AI generated. This one is similar to the first one. Let's add a few more reference images and see how the AI does. It looks like simply adding more reference images doesn't influence the outcome. So we'll go down to the settings and increase the number of steps and potentially refine the images. So the images do look a bit more refined. This one actually looks a little bit worse than the first iteration. This one looks better. The, I think the eyes look a little bit better. The facial features look better. This one still has some issues that don't look quite right. And then this last one, half her face, the left side or the right side of her face looks better. Now we're going to use a slightly different image in that this reference image is more zoomed in than our previous reference image. And here are a few other tips. You want to describe features of the person that you want to keep. If you go back and watch several seconds earlier, a minute or so, you'll see that the hair color that this image generator creates is slightly different than the reference image. So in our prompt, we are noting that we want a woman with black hair. And then if we scroll down and look at the seed feature, it always starts at 42. So if you always start with the same prompt and the same seed, it should generate similar images. But we're going to change this to 74. And that should give us different images. And if we take a look at what we have, it does generate images with different backgrounds and environment settings. It looks like this one looks the most like our character, but it does have issues with the hands once again. If you crop it, it probably looks like something you could use. This time for the prom, we're going to use woman with the same straight black hair sitting at a table. And we'll change the C to 126. We'll click on generate. See what the AI image generator gives us. A couple of these don't look bad. Let's take a closer look. For this one, the facial features look like it's 95-99% there. There's this little thing going on with their eye. Maybe it's not noticeable to most people. But the table looks like it's at an awkward height. So you could probably crop this and just use the left side of the image. This one doesn't look like her. This one... The eyes don't quite match. Well, maybe that's not as noticeable either, but the size of her head in proportion to the rest of her body looks kind of off. And then the last one, the hands and the arms, you know, there's some issues here, but you could crop the top half and use that. So there is something to work with here. Let me know if there are other AI image generators you think I should try. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.